Okay, I'm here to talk to you about GCSE Maths. Now, you know that GCSE Maths is not an option to take. It is a subject that is taken by every single student and you will be sitting the exam at the end of year 11. You should know already from doing key stage three maths that there is a lot to maths. There are a lot of topics involved. It's the same for key stage four. What you would have learned in year seven and eight are foundations that will help you build for your key stage four GCSE curriculum. This is the curriculum path we take. There are many topics um, in GCSE maths that involve six, or more subtopics within those as well. And you will learn those starting in year nine. Uh, you will carry on learning them in year 10. And then by around December in year 11, you should have finished learning all these topics, which will then give you a few months where you have some time to do revision and lots of exam practice, going back to topics that you might want to review. We have a lot of time for revision built into our curriculum plan. Uh, we have lots of uh, end of year exams, which you will then sit to see how much progress you have made throughout the year. We then analyze those and we look to see what topics and what questions we have not done so well on or that we may need to uh, go back to, which we then in build time into our curriculum plan for that. Okay, since 2017, the Maths GCSC has changed. A lot more content has been added, as you can see from those maps, uh, in both foundation and higher tiers. There's a lot of higher content that has been put into foundation, and there's also been some A-level content that has been brought down into higher GCSE maths. There's a lot more problem solving and reasoning and interpreting in the questions. The questions have a lot of worded problems that you will need to read and unpick and resolve. Each exam paper is an hour and a half long and there are three papers that you will have to sit. You'll have a look at this in a second. Some of the new topics that have been brought into higher on the list below. This is why we have so many topics that we need to cover from year nine all the way to year 11. There are three different assessment objectives that you are tested on. AO1, which is about applying the standard techniques to uh, mathematics. That's 50% of the foundation and 40% of the higher. AO2 is about reasoning, interpreting and communicating. That's 25% of the foundation and 30% of higher. And AO3 is the problem solving assessment objective that takes up about 25% of the foundation paper and 30% of the higher. So as you can see, there's three papers. The first paper for both higher and foundation is non-calculator. And then the second and third paper, a calculator. They're an hour and 30 minutes each and all worth 80 marks. So they all have an equal weighting. You can see that in foundation, uh, you can achieve anything from a grade one to a grade five. And in higher, it starts at a grade four and goes all the way to grade nine, which is the highest possible grade you can achieve. Four is the ideal passing grade to achieve at the end to pass mathematics. Here's an example of what a GCSE question could look like. As you can see, this question is worth five marks, okay? So this is a, a, a typical problem solving question. So you would have to read the information given to you, unpick the key uh, information needed to answer the question, try and figure out what is being asked for you to do and what you need to answer that question, okay? So if you was just to put the answer down, you'd only achieve one or two marks. So showing your steps and your working out very clearly will get you all five marks. So here's an example of how you would solve a maths problem. 
we always start our lessons with revision and we use something called Corbett Maths five a day and they are graded from foundation to higher. So depending on what group you're in would depend on which one you do. And that will help you from year nine all the way to year 11 uh, with revising and recapping topics you would have done previously. Here's an example of what a higher paper could look like. That's the front cover. In Heron Hall Academy, we do AQA maths. We use a program called Maths Watch for homework, which is set every week. This is compulsory. It's all done online and it is marked for you as well. So you can see what questions you are getting right and which ones you are getting wrong. There are also videos on there to help you when you get stuck. If you are in set one and you would like an extra challenge and want to stretch yourself, we also offer further maths and statistics as two extra GCSEs. They are sat and you are studying those during your normal maths lesson. So there is extra work for you to do. 